football a Friday night tournament. I will... I'm looking out here. I'm seeing you wonderful people in chat. How are we all? Give me a hello. My name is Scaroz. I'll be your caster this evening. And uh, we're going to be seeing Ground Zero versus Mailstorm in, uh, in the match tonight. I'm very excited. Going to be some uh, interesting matchups match here. As uh, we're just going to, trying to get the tournament, or oh, sorry, the match ready to go. Uh, if there's anybody in chat who does know these teams, please let me know what you think is going to happen in this one. Who you think is going to be taking out this match? I see Scarth already saying Maelstorm. It's Maelstorm. Maelstrom. Sorry, not Maelstorm. Maelstrom. <laughs> Apologize. Maelstrom. So uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure that all the people here uh, who've been saying Maelstrom, we have some supporters in the crowd. It's going to... That's, uh, that's a good. All right, so uh, we're just getting ladies and gentlemen into the match. I'm assuming it's just gentlemen, but it could be some ladies too. Just trying to uh, bring up the names here. Looks like we've got... Uh, Oh, I think uh, we're backing out again. It's waiting on these boys. Uh, as we wait, as I said, let me know who you think is going to be winning this one today. Alrighty, so I've just been sent through the two teams here. We've got Fiki, Scarf, and Lucky Luke on the Maelstrom team. We have Change, Siva, and Virelia on Ground Zero. A few players that I've seen before in the past, and I'm very excited to see how they do this evening. Uh, so let's... Uh, let's. <laughs> Apparently, according to Viper, I'm going to score one this evening from the caster's couch. That's going to be uh, it's going to be a very interesting and impressive attempt to manage to get one in the back of the net from not even in the match, but for you, Viper, I'll give it a shot. See how we go. All right, so this is the semi-finals of the Vapor FNL Friday Night Live 29th event as we see the two teams taking the field now. And I see how, uh, how these teams go down. Alrighty, so that is the kickoff, ladies and gentlemen, of this first match in the semi-final. We have a nice little pass. One, two, almost in. Fiki with a very close miss there. Almost got it in the back of the net. We see it slightly high off of Scarf there. Not quite making it in, but a very good attempt. Nice and very lucky here by Fiki, managing to just get it underneath the defender there. But it isn't enough to get it into the goal as Scarf puts it back across. Change doing a lot of work here to try and keep it away from the goal as his teammates are scrambling to get back. Putting right in front of the net here as Scarf is unable to make a connection. Spending a lot of time now down in front of the ground zero net. Fiki trying for that crazy angle. Wasn't able to do so as Scarf is able to put it back in front. Change now, going to try and put this one out to the side. Can't get a touch on it as Lucky Luke puts it nice and high. Fiki going to go for this one. Siva gets the block. Not a lot of hit on that one as Virelia going to put this one center. Again, it's heading back down the end of ground zero. Spending a lot of time there during this match. No goals in yet with one minute and 10 seconds done in this match. A lot of back and forth, mostly down the end of ground zero, but we do see it now in front of their goal yet again. Scarf going to be able to get this one up the wall. 
Fiki not able to get the connection that he was after as it does head back down towards his end of the net. Scarf with a nice little touch out to the side. It's going to be heading back in. Fiki with a baby touch there. Not much to it, but going to be enough to get it across. Scarf going up for that double commit coming out of Team Maelstrom. They were lucky to not have that one put in the back of the net while they were both up there for it. As we see Fiki putting this one down the other end of the field. Nice strong hit, but Siva's there to answer it. As Change pushed this one down towards Maelstrom's end of the field. We're now seeing a little bit of a roll reversal as Maelstrom is having to do some hard defense in front of their net. Ladies and gentlemen, with two minutes and 45 seconds left on the clock, no goals scored. Make sure you are going to be contributing to this night's tournament over at the Macharino pages. Nice! Almost a shot in by Siva, a little bit too high. Nice effort though. Not the best clearance there. Scarf putting it back to Virelia, giving him a second chance. But Virelia was backwards there, not able to get a touch on the ball. Scarf, nice little center. A nice little clearance, I should say. As Lucky Luke takes this one down the line. It's going to be centered. Change now. Going to try and get this one out, but it's a very light touch. Isn't able to get a second. Scarf accidentally getting it past his teammate there, who may have had a bit of a better opportunity at that one. Fiki now putting a nice ball into the center. Straight to change. Change now to Siva. Can Siva get the angle? He can't. It's just wide. Very close there as Virelia puts it back center. Giving change a second chance. Wasn't able to do anything with it. Virelia going up for this one. A little bit of a miss. And as I said, do make sure you check out that Macharino page. It has been put in chat there for you, ladies and gentlemen, to increase the prize pool for this evening. Always good to be giving back to the community that's supporting us and making these events happen. Seaver now gets a very light touch on it, tries to get it through to his teammates, wasn't able to do so as the defense was there right in front of the net, but nobody able to pick it up as Seaver gets the clearance on it. This one, Scarf very close to mid-goal and Virelia doing a good job to be able to put that one wide. It was very close to going in off himself. Nice little flick around there coming out of Lucky Luke, able to get around the attacking player. Scarf now right in front of net, a little bit too high. Can Virelia get the angle? No. Fiki with a nice clearance there. We were very close to seeing our first goal of the match with only 45 seconds left on the clock. Fiki now, putting this one center. Not the best touch coming out of Irelia, but enough to slow it down. This teammate should be able to do something. It does go wide, not with the most power, but enough. As we see Scarf here, he's going to be the one to defend the goal. Got a bit lucky there. There was nobody up to attack that one. It's just him and all the time in the world. As we see a center with 10 seconds left on the clock, still no goals. Very evenly matched teams here. A little pass back from Scarth to Fiki. Fiki not getting enough height on that one to be able to put it in the back. Change put it nice and high. Scarth with the great little touch down to the corner. We're going to go into overtime in this first match here, ladies and gentlemen. A lot of back and forth plays here. Nothing reaching the back of the net. Almost there, Scarth with the save. Wonderfully done, Scarth. 15 seconds into overtime, almost seeing a goal there, but wasn't meant to be. Scarf doing a great job to keep that one out, actually smacking it into the top corner of his own goal, keeping it out by the skin of his teeth. Well done as we see the ball now down the end of Maelstrom. Just kind of sitting there, not a lot going on. Siva not getting to that ball fast enough to get it over the defense. Fiki, nice little touch out to the side here as Lucky Luke puts it through to the other end. Easily picked up by the defense here. Change putting one over the top of Fiki. We have some people from Colorado watching. Gonna give a little bit of shout out while uh, we're just waiting for this to get in the back of the net. It's no! Well done! What a save! Scarf doing an absolutely amazing job on defense there. Yet again, saving that one. That is his third save for this match. Just doing a great job in defense. Now it's about the offense. Who's going to be able to get this first goal in? 
It's Fiki putting this one down the side. Lucky Luke putting it over the top. It's over one, it's over two. Can we get a goal? We can! Scarth going from the defender to the attacker. And ladies and gentlemen, we have our first game. First game done and dusted with Maelstrom in the lead in overtime. 1-0. Well done, lads. So during that match, we did see a lot of back and forth. As I said, a lot of time spent in the front of the goal in uh, ground zero's end of the field. But, you know, that seemed to be the case in the final score here as it was scored against ground zero in that one minute and about 30 second overtime. Well played, lads. If we have a look through here at some of the scores, we do see five saves coming out of ground zero. Only three saves from Maelstrom, all coming from Scarf. Well played to him. A lot of shots coming out of Maelstrom, but only one ending up on target. We see a total of 10 from Maelstrom. Only five coming out of ground zero. It's uh, somewhat telling. Just waiting on the players now to uh, finish readying up. Thank you for those in chat mentioning... Uh... Did I... <laughs> Did I say five? I apologize. Four. Four goal. Uh, four saves coming out of ground zero. Quick maths. <laughs> Very much, Demo. Thank you for the uh, the correction there. And uh, here we go into the second match. This Maelstrom matchup against ground zero. In the semifinals of the Vapor Esports Friday Night Live. If you do ever want to get involved with this... It's a free-to-join competition, so make sure you get in, get a team of three, have a little bit of fun and see how you go as we jump into the second match here. And a quick goal, as quick as my maths is, is as quick as that goal was. Fiki with the nice little kickoff goal. I mean, one with three seconds down, Maelstrom in the lead already. Well done. Nice even kickoff here. Sfiki coming through for his next touch. Siva doing well to get that one out to the side, but it may have messed up his teammates a little bit there, and it has. That's a second goal. A very different match from the first round. As Lucky Luke is able to put this one back behind by really, I think that may have been a little bit uh, Siva's doing there, putting the pass into that corner. Didn't quite work out for him. Vince with the... Uh, the blue-footed birds in chat. Siva now going to go for an aerial shot. Can he get it over the last defender? Doesn't look like that's going to happen as Scarth is able to clear it. Absolute monster in defense this game coming out of Scarth. And as he puts it in <laughs> for his first goal of the match. Ladies and gentlemen, three players on the team, three goals, one each. If I was doing the math from before, I'd say it's four, but it's only three goals in this match. One for each player, none for ground zero. Siva now, nice little pass through. By really are able to get a touch on it, but not enough to get it past Fiki. Well done to get the save there. Scarf's going to be clearing this one. Looks like Siva should be able to get the center. Drops a little bit too low, is able to go to Lucky Luke. By really are no power there, so Lucky Luke hits it up once again. Siva going to put this one way over the top. Might get another touch on it. Not enough. So we see Scarf there doing work as usual. Siva now waiting this one out. His lucky Luke pits, picks it up. Puts it right in the center. Very dangerous plays there in front of goal. Zvirelia is putting this one into the middle. It's going to be a 50-50 between Change and Scarf. Change is the one who comes out of it. The victor as Siva puts this one nice and high, gets a little touch on it. Can we see a goal here? No, by really just missing that one. Very close, nice placement by Team Ground Zero, but not enough to get it in the back of the net. As I mentioned earlier, ladies and gentlemen, if you do want to become part of these tournaments, it's really easy to jump into the Vapor Esports Discord channel. All the information's there. You can set up a team and and get involved, and you too could be in one of these Friday Night Live 3v3 tournaments. You can be in number 30. 
as we're currently in 29, as we see a goal finally coming out of ground zero, their first for the series. Well done, Siva, putting this one just out of reach for Fiki. He does get a touch, but not enough. All right, with three minutes left on the clock with four goals down, as I said earlier, very different game from earlier. So, Scarth waiting this one out. Able to get around one, but Siva up for it. Might get a second touch. Looks like Fiki's going to get it. A very nice opportunity there for a redirect, but it didn't happen for Team Maelstrom. Nice clearance down the other end. It's going to be right in front of the net. Goes a little bit too high. Lucky doing the block thing as Scarth gets his fourth goal of the match. Ladies and gentlemen, if you've heard me cast before, you may have heard hashtag possible Brazil. And that's the way we could be headed here with one to four. Only three goals in it. Both in the way of a Brazil and to even it up, depending on which way those three goals are scored. Nice attempted redirect there by Siva. Not enough. Puts it wide himself by accident there. Nice little touch by Fiki. He's going to put this one center. Looking for Lucky Luke. Can he get to it? Looks like Virelia is going to be onto the ball here as Siva puts it center. It's right in front of goal, but Fiki able to get the clearance. Nice touch by Virelia, getting that one slightly wide of the net. Lucky Luke putting it straight into Virelia yet again, but Fiki puts it center. Maelstrom doing a lot of work for the other team at the moment, unfortunately. Not quite what they're looking for. Gonna see this one nice and high. Siva does get to it first as it goes down. Gonna drop in front of Fiki. Virelia does good work to get that one past the opposition. Lucky Luke now, trying to get a nice touch on it, but it comes straight down to change. He's able to put it center. Unfortunately, Siva not able to get that one into the position he was after. Hashtag block things coming out of Mercs. A lot of blocks in this match. Not a lot of powerful shots or uh, clever shots. And as I said, not a lot of clever shots. We see one coming out of change. Goes up here, Scarth just missing it, and Change able to put it just down over that last defender who was in goal, not able to get up for the save. No possible Brazil anymore as we see 4-2 to two with one minute left on the clock. Siva, nice. Well done to save that one with the absolute banger coming in from Maelstrom. But not enough as Scarth is able to get his third goal of the match. This time around, not getting any saves. He had three saves last round. He's got three goals. This one only has three shots to his name as well. So he's doing an absolute amazing job with his accuracy. Damo wishing for the comeback with three goals needed to be scored to get back to that comeback status. I don't know if it's going to happen, but anything's possible here in Rocket League. We can all dream. We can all believe. This one's going to be sitting nice and central. Scarf going to be able to pick it up. Lucky Luke with the touch. Nice clear by Virelia off that backboard. 50-50 there. Fiki. Change gets it. The flick. No one there. We have a Spider-Man on the wall. Not able to do anything. Scarf not able to get one of his crazy saves. Very close though. With uh, 30 seconds left on the clock, two goals to be scored to bring it back. Can it happen? Virelia putting that one dangerously in front. Would have been scored on there, but wasn't. Siva with the touch. Not a lot of power on that one. As we see this one probably coming to a close here. One more goal for good luck. No! <laughs> oh, no! Valiant effort just missed out on a final goal there. Three to five, the final score. Maelstrom winning their second match in the series, and that's going to take them through to the grand finals as this is a best of three event.
Well done, Maelstrom. Ground Zero really shining there. Not able to get the win, though. Very close for both matches. A lot more goals scored out of this one. Both teams being a little bit more aggressive. There we go. The 2-0 from Maelstrom up against Ground Zero. So, ladies and gentlemen, as I said, that puts them through to the grand finals. We've got DeGrills and Walcott Bango. And I can't read the rest of that title up in the other semi final. So, I'm going to jump out as we get all set up. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back very soon. Matcherino gives you the power to directly support your favorite tournaments and gaming scenes. Head over to this tournament's Matcherino page, sign in with your Twitch account, and if there's a coupon code, donate a dollar for free by entering it. To help the prize pool grow even more, you can add a personal donation that will go directly to the players. You can also check out the rewards. If you see something you like, you can buy it and support the event. Rewards can be purchased through PayPal or with points that you accumulate by watching the stream. Best of all, contributions edge closer to the stretch goals, providing extra content for fans if the goal is reached. Esports communities are growing with your help. Get more of what you like by supporting now.
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Vapor Esports 3v3 Friday Night Live, the 29th event. Ladies and gentlemen, if you have a look on screen right now, it says you can contribute to the Friday Night Live. You don't even have to use your own money. You can uh, use the contribute link right there on screen. So uh, jump on over. You can see the Macharino link in chat. Just use that code and you'll be able to give one free dollar to help these teams out to... Uh, a little bit extra dosh. All right, ladies and gentlemen, today we're uh, checking out the grills. I'm going to call them the grills because I was calling that the other day. And I personally think they should change the name to the grills, but they're going with the girls. And uh, WBS. Now, uh, their full name is Walcott, Bango, and Slurpee, or Walcott plus Bango plus Slurpee, which is uh, the. People in the team as well. Bango, Sleppy Monster, and Walcott. So uh, absolutely imaginative name coming out of those boys. And uh, the girls, Damo, or as he's renamed himself in Rocket League, Destructive Damo, hashtag for Scar. I appreciate that, sir. And then the lols and uh, Lemony. So uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is the second semifinals between these two teams, the girls and W. BS. I'm going to be jumping in right now and checking this one out. Again, as usual, I do ask you in the chat to tell me who you think is going to be taking out this competition tonight. So let me see if you have any suggestions for me. Any 2 1s, 2 0s, any of that type of stuff. Who you're, who you're backing for this one? We're now. 10 seconds down in this first match of the second semifinals. Absolutely amazing shot coming out of Bango. Nice save by Lemony. A lot of bit, a little bit of back and forth here as the teams are trying to figure out each other. I think G2 will come in and win it. Thank you very much, Merce. Absolutely. Uh, Absolutely wonderful input, as usual. Destructive Demo getting a demo, as usual. Doing what he does best. Destroying things. You see this one go nice and high in front of the net. Nobody able to pick that one up from Team WBS. It wasn't a bad position there for the girls, but they were able to uh, keep that one out. Nice little... Redirect there coming out of wall cut, but the lull is able to do what he does. Keep it out of the net. I'm seeing a center here. Slurpee putting that one on target, but destructive Damo keeping it out. Walcott now going to try and take this one up of the wall. Lemony feeling backflip, man. With that one center, Damo able to put that one down back the other end of the field. Nice intercept coming out from the lulls there. Said very back and forth play at the moment. Three minutes, 15 seconds left on the clock. No goals just yet. The Slurpee Monster goes up for that one. one. Just misses out. By the wings of a butterfly, he misses. He didn't notice that's his topper at the moment as lulls putting this one high. Damo going to have to do a bit of work to get to it. Walcott gets there first and there's a bit of a bump and that one's going to be the first goal for WBS coming from Walcott. Had two shots on goal this match. The second one of which he gets in the back of the net. A little under three minutes left. This one's anyone's game. Lemony, nice high ball as Walcott puts it back towards the end of the girls. Slurpy monster. Very high ball here. Bang. Oh, Bango. Going for the redirect. Fakes out two of the defense, but not enough to get it in, in the goal there. Can we get a redirect here? No, the lulls just missing out on that one. Bango putting that one center. Damo getting the center ball himself. Lulz putting it nice and high. Just wide and Slurpee able to pick up the save as well. That one's going to head on down to Lemony. Lemony now. Walcott, nice. 
Bango's going to have to try and get this one out, but it is intercepted. Nice and high into the center. Can we get a Walcott goal? We can. That's number two for him. Number two for his team. Couple of players out of position here for Team De Girls. Two players up for that attempted save, but uh, puts them out of position. No save for them there. And I see the hard clearance coming out of Lemony. This one's going to be back in front of net. It's a little bit high, not going to get in. Nice save coming out from Damo there. Slurpy puts this one high for his teammate. Walcott is going to go ahead and get that one. Centers it again. Damo now. Can we get the redirect? Oh, no. Lemony. Just tie on that one. Wonderful positioning. Just missed out on the goal. And Damo getting a skin of his teeth save there as he comes back across. Went a little bit too far. We do have two players up again. Lemony going to be able to get that one out from the danger zone. He puts it down towards Bango here. Bango gets it over one, gets it over two, and Slurpee able to put that one in. First goal coming out from someone who isn't Walcott. With a 3-0 lead with one minute left on the clock. Having a look at shots here. We've got four shots coming from Slurpee, three from Walcott, and four from Bango, with only two shots coming out of the girls, both from the lulls. It's going to have to be a lot of work done by the girls here. Come back from this one. Might not be in this game, but I do expect a bit of a comeback in the rest of this series as Walcott is going to get it around one. Goes nice and high. Damo trying for the redirect. Just misses out on that one. It is going to be into the center. Lulls with the goal. The man with four shots to his name finally puts one in the back of the net. Here is the comeback I'm talking about. But to just over the top of Bango. Well done, sir. With 36 seconds left on the clock. It may not be a comeback in this match. But it may be for the series. Damo. Gets the save. And the ball out to the corner. Lol is going to try well, and get Well, it looks like we one. have 23 seconds remaining. I'm taking over this cast. Scar, oh, no. you're about to get out of here and be showing up on how you really do it here in Rocket League. 15 seconds remaining. Slurpy Monster going for the ball. Goes for the shot. Puts it in the top left corner. All right, then. No, I'm just kidding. What's going on, guys? It's Edgy Murphy, and I'm going to be here to help out Scar for at least the grand final, maybe the little bit of this uh, semifinal that we have going on here. So uh, what's going on, Scar? Yeah, not much. It's, uh, it's your turn. Have fun. 13 <laughs> seconds. Go for it. <laughs> All right, so we're going into possibly the last kickoff here. Four to one. I haven't seen anything of this tournament. I just woke up. It's like six in the morning here on the East Coast. And we're going to see a fifth one coming in from WBS. It looks like they've just been slaughtering the girls right now. I mean, how, how's this semifinal been going here, Scar? Uh, well, pretty one-sided in this match, that's for sure. Uh... I kind of expected a little bit more out of the girls. Uh, one goal up against the five that's come through from WBS. It's not what I was thinking was going to happen. Um, but that's Rocket League. The unexpected happens. And looks like with no time left on the clock, WBS is going to take this one out. All right. So was that the first game of the semifinal? I mean, fill me in here. Just in so case, you know, yes, people game. like me, you know, just coming in. We've uh, we've seen the semi the other semi-final, so this is uh, the last one here. Wh whoever wins this is going through to the grand finals up against mm -hmm. uh, I think it was Maelstrom. So uh, yeah, this this is it. The girls has to win this match and the next one to stay in it to win it, and uh, they got a lot long road ahead of them. That's for sure. Well, it's going to be one heck of a barn burner, as I like to say, as we get into this next one. Speaking of which, I also heard that we did some best of ones early on in the tournament, bit of a qualifier uh, format there. Uh, do you have your what's your opinion on best of ones actually, Scar? Speaking of that, while we uh, wait for Edge to hit the ready button, <laughs> it's uh, it's certainly an interesting concept. Um, best of ones is always hard because you don't have a lot of time to figure out your opposition. Uh, you know, you don't have that buffer time. It's it's now or never, really. Uh, it's you. You know, you've got to 
on the fly, figure out what they're doing, how their defense works, how their attack works, and you know, just run with it. So uh, it's, it's a tough, it's grueling, but if you come out on top, it uh, just means that, you know, you're an all-rounder. You can you can figure out anybody and do what needs to be done. As we as we head now 10 seconds into this, for, this second match, I should say. <laughs> but yeah, we, we will talk about the best of ones later. So far, just getting through the first 20 seconds of this match. Like we said before, the girls, they got a, they got a little bit of work cut out for them as they go into this one. WBS, they were up 5-1, to one, I believe, at the end of that last match here in the last semifinal. And things are really going to be on the line for them here. Oh, speaking of that, as we WBS. see one go in for Bango, first goal of this second match. It's a second shot this game and uh, able to get it in the back of the net. Well done. Absolutely fantastic stuff. 428 left on the clock. Still plenty of Rocket League to go here in WBS after showing their dominance in the last game. They're going to continue to display that with another shot on net coming in from Bango. It's going to get blocked out by the Lulz. Oh, demo. Bango right onto the Lulz. R.I.P. Slurpee Monster not able to get any contact with that Limani. Putting this one into the corner. Bango looking to get the clear. Brings it to midfield. But for Scar, hashtag. I believe that was Destructive Demon, rather. Not able to get the contact there. Demo. <laughs> my boy. Demo. Oh, I just re Oh my god, wow. I have him on my friends list, too. I'm so sorry, Demo. My apologies. <laughs> See, you said uh, the demo came out earlier. I don't accept any demos unless they're from Demo. Uh, <laughs> the the, demo like, the rest, yeah, yeah. The rest of them are like false demos, and I, uh, I don't appreciate them. So if we could keep it clean, lads. Other than uh, Demo, that'd be great. One hundred percent. Oh, shot! Just gonna get blocked out here by the money. I mean, it doesn't seem like there's too much action going on this game. The girls, they've seemed to figure out a little bit of a rhythm to keep up with WBS here, despite them being up by one goal. I also realize that uh, after you've said it, Lemoney is how you say it and not Lemony. Uh, <laughs> Le which is how I was saying it. Well done. And uh, Le yeah, with three minutes left on the clock, only the one goal in the back of the net. So it's uh, anybody's game still at this point. And to, as you said, the girls doing a wonderful job to uh, keep it to a much closer scoreline than last match. We see Lulz now putting this one center and a nice little redirect coming from Lamani. Not enough to get it in the back of the net though. Oh, there's the demo as well. Pretty much a fake one though. I'm pretty sure that wall cut is just going to be, uh, you know, 100% after that one. Shot all the way downfield. Lamani's there to make the stop. Wall cut off of him. 50 50. But Demo's not going to be able to get the touch there. We're down to halftime. Off the wall towards the net. Nice save coming in from Slurpee Monster though. Good positioning from him, but there's an empty net down the orange end of the field. No one's going to be able to make the stop. Slurpy Monster able to slide this one in. So what happens here is the girls are all pushed up. One misses the the save there early on, or the clear at least. And, you know, it's just easy pickings for Slurpy. Only had one to beat, and that, that one didn't have enough boost or speed to get back. And uh, it's unfortunate, but that's two goals to WBS. The girls still yet to get one this game. Speaking of the girls, they have it down in the blue zone, but it's going to be off the side here towards center. The Lulz making the shot. It's going to be just off target. Nobody's in net, though. Walcott got that first one. Demo able to slide this one in. His teammate comes in. Lemoney able to get this one secured. Destructive. Demo just getting unlucky there to slow it down himself. Would have had it all set up, but uh, got a little bit misplaced. All good, though, as you said. Lemoney coming through, securing that goal. And uh, bringing us to a 2-1 with two minutes left on the clock. Edgy. This is, uh, is nerve-wracking. We're getting very close. Oh, speaking of close, that was a close one in front of that blue net. We could see another one coming in from the lows, but it's going to be brought downfield. 50-50 puts this one off to the side from the corner. Walcott looking for a touch, but he's not going to be able to make it. Minute 45 left on the clock. Only one goal separating both of these teams. Slurpee Monster over to Walcott. Downfield team plays. Bango able to bang one towards the net, but it's going to have to be Slurpee Mon Monster with the rebuttal and a nice save coming in from the lulls. Oh, my Lord. We are seeing some high-intensity gameplay. Downfield from the money looking for the second touch. Oh! the crossbar but it's not gonna happen another touch coming in from the girls but it's not gonna happen again so much action in just the last 40 seconds here very unfortunate they had uh, two players up for that shot just before may have actually been able to do something there to girls to get that one in but 
wasn't meant to be, and still with a minute left on the clock, two to one. Some uh, some really good plays coming out. I saw Bango get an absolutely killer clearance before, with just the tip of his car. So we see one right in front of Net. Not enough though. All the 50 50s gonna keep this one down in the blue zone. Bango looking for the clear. Walcott looking to follow this one up, but it's gonna be the lulls putting it off to the side center for Demo shot on target, but it's gonna get stopped by Slurpee Monster. Now, chip and follow for Lamoney gets the fake, but Bango's still able to make the stop. We're down to the last 30 seconds. The ball is now transitioning from the blue to the orange zone. Slurpee Monster trying to get it towards center. But through the corner, it's going to be the Lulz bringing it downfield. Damo looking for the touch. Walcott able to make the stop. 20 seconds remaining. Shot on target just underneath the crossbar coming in from the money. Oh, no. So Walcott here puts it center for the opposition team completely by accident. Not the amount of power that I'm assuming he was hoping for. And the money. He's, he's on the money, that's for sure. Getting that one in the back of the net. The second goal he's got in this game. And only a second shot. Well done, the money. And I wouldn't be surprised to see those stats go up from the corner. The money pinch off the wall. The lulls not able to make the touch. Demo, the demo is there with the rebuttal. I don't think we're going to see a goal for the girls, but we do have a chance for WBS to make something happen. From the corner, Bango looking to keep this one up. Oh, he is able to keep it up. It's going to be the lulls putting it over. Walcott, zero seconds remaining. The lulls off the corner. Could see one coming in. Lamoney, but Damo went up too early. He's not going to be able to make the shot. Oh my lord, the ball is still up. It's going to stay up here from Damo. No, he puts it down into the ground, and now we have overtime. A really good decision there by Damo to put that one down. His teammates were not in a position to be able to help out if he tried to keep that up. It would have been a really easy uh, pass through for WBS. So a uh, good decision there as we do see overtime. Two to two in the second match. This is uh, this is going to be interesting. The girls really having to uh, pull something out here, get the win to take us to a match three. As uh, we see this one bouncing around in front of the girls into the field. Oh, there's the shot from Bango, but it's going to get stopped by Lamoney off in the corner. Demo looks to try and get this one cleared out. Him and Lamoney working together here. Over to the lulls. We're starting to see some team chemistry come out from the girls, and that's definitely been something that has been helping them out here keep up with WBS. We're down through 45 seconds of overtime, and compared to the last game where we saw it 5-1 to one for WBS, this is looking a lot more tighter in competition. That's for sure, as we see an opportunity here. And oh no! So very close to getting this game done and dusted, but uh, for the girls, they get lucky there as it skims right across the front of the girl. Down on the wing, Walcott gets 50 50 by the lulls. Sent downfield by Slurpee Monster toward Bango, but it's going to get stopped by Lamoney. He looks to get this one set up, maybe even in the net, but it's going to be just wide. Demo puts it on, but it's too slow, and Bango's going to be able to get the clear here. 90 seconds through overtime, and it looks like it's going to have to be another offensive push for WBS, taking this from midfield. Down off the wing, Lamoney's going to be able to intercept. Sends it on. Nice stop coming in from Walcott. And Damo, relatively interesting position there. He was uh, way back in the goal of WBS, and uh, I'm not quite sure what he was looking to do there, but normally that's not really a position that you want to be playing. Yeah, well, the girls doing some good work to keep that one out, and there's a nice clearance and shot coming out from the money. Can there it be is. a goal again? The Lulz finishing off what Lamani started. Well done. Walcott, he started coming out of net, but then he just got caught by that huge clearance coming in from the money and the lulls. He was already there in the perfect position. I mean, let's be honest. The girls, they had some great team chemistry coming in through that game. Absolutely great stuff. They're going to be able to make a bit of a comeback here, I really think. Uh, WBS, uh, they're going to have to make some changes, though, because uh, the girls, they're starting to really think about their positionings, where they place the ball. Hitting the ball with a purpose. One of those high level things that really takes uh, takes a lot to learn, but then not really that much to master. So um, we're starting to see that come out from the girls. Like I said, WBS, they're just going to have to work on trying to read those plays coming in from the girls and uh, making the interceptions, getting the counterattacks, because that's usually uh, one of those strategies that usually works at least for a while. And then uh, after that, 
the other team starts to figure that one out as well and kind of goes back and forth from there. So in the meantime, WBS also have to be prepared for when um, the girls end up uh, end up doing that, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, too early in the morning, mixing up my words, no problem. <laughs> All good. As uh, we are going into our third match here, which is awesome. I, it's it's good to see when you know teams really have a struggle when matching up against each other, and we see some high level gameplay. I would expect nothing less from people like Bango, one of the you know pretty well known uh, coaches for the uh, the Australian scene. He's he's been around the trap, so it's going to be interesting seeing what he does for his team and possibly uh, given all the call outs needed and necessary to get the win on this one. As we are now into our third match, third and final, winner takes all, going through to the grand final, going up against Maelstrom. And uh, we see the lulls now. He's going to put this one center for his teammate. Oh, Damon with the shot, but it's going to get blocked by the coach. The lulls, though, he's going to be able to put this one right into the top right corner. That's some great stuff coming in from him. Damo with a very nice redirect and really unlucky there that the uh, there wasn't as much power that they uh, WBS wanted on that one to get it away from the from the center and uh, the lol's just cleaning up doing what needs to be done as we get down to the 420 mark Bango's gonna look to blaze this one downfield the money looks to send this one back on Slurpee Monster over to Walcott though they're gonna bring this one down into the orange zone here off of Damo's roof. Perfect setup for Bango to get this one off the post. But it's still going to get blocked regardless on that offensive push. Now it's down in the blue zone. Walcott's not able to make the touch. The lulls with the bump. Perfect stuff to get Damo in position. That bump coming out of the lulls was absolutely perfect. Would have been a pretty easy clear there for Bango, but not able to get to it. And Damo just finishing off the job. It seems that uh, these goals are just kind of lining up for the fellas over at the girls and uh, they're able to capitalize on it and with 2-0 up in this third match which is absolutely massive change from the previous matches and the girls really finding their stride in this this series and i expect to see some big things coming out of them for the rest of this series and if they do win into the grand final as uh, we see this one nice and high in front of wbs's goal oh three minutes and 33 seconds remaining the Lulz now taking it from their corner. Quick change of events ever since it was an, on top of WBS's goal. As it's now in front of the girls' goal. But the shot from Bango's going to be wide. Down the wing from Damo. In the corner, he's not able to get that 50-50 going. Slurpee Monster now with the counter clear. Way off the back wall. Perfect season one meta being executed there with Bango taking the shot. Oh no, that's <laughs> so... Here, Lamani just uh, backwards up that wall, which I'm surprised he even got up there like that. Uh, wasn't able to get the jump out from there. Would have been a crazy angle to get to the save, and you know, no defense in goal, open net. This is uh, this is the same thing that happened for them, happened against them. That was very close in front of goal there. <laughs> They had that waterfall set up. I mean, sometimes those things can be really tough, but if you start to expect them, then it, they really become advantageous because uh, when when you see other guys try and go for that, or at least try and read it, they're like, oh no, this is coming down right in front of my net. And a lot of and a lot of guys, at least um, when you're playing some lower level Rocket League, they're pretty uh, questionable on whether they can get the timing down on that or not. So if you're expecting it and you know your timings, those can be really advantageous for you. Money two minutes now, 30. Getting a little too Ooh. high over the center of the map, and as you're going to say, two minutes and thirty seconds left on the clock, and <laughs> right in front of goal there, another goal scoring opportunity, but slightly wide. Shot. It's going to be just wide though. From the corner, the money gets the touch. Slurpy monster on defense. He's not going to be able to do anything, but Walcott comes in. Bango now third man. Great block coming in from him. That definitely would have been a goal otherwise, if my eyes are correct. Damo's going to get this one set back up once more, though. Off the corner. Slurpy monster. Bit of an awkward position, but he's able to get the touch anyway. Bango now. He has to go for the stop, but the shot's going to be wide regardless. Slurpy monster now bringing this one downfield. He's going to have this one at the back wall. Gets it off. Puts it center. Oh, the shot from Bengal was so close, but there's the rebuttal coming in from Walcott. And we're now going to have a tie game with a minute 42 remaining. 
Some great work coming out of Bango there, not putting it straight at the goal. I think he was going for that top left corner, but in doing so, he was able to get it around that last defender who was the only one there able to do anything about the possible goal attempt. So worked really well in their favor. WBS bringing it back two to two. And uh, you know, minute 30 left on the clock and we're back to anyone's game. We could see another overtime here. Who knows? This is, uh, this is Friday Night Live Rocket League and uh, anything can happen. That is certainly fact, as we see a pinch coming in from Bango. Insane 50-50 off the crossbar with another shot. But it just looks like nothing is going to be going in for WBS right now. Just a little bit unfortunate. But the one thing that is fortunate for them is that they're tied up at least and not down. 50-50 uh, there. Goes in Damo's favor. He's able to get it high, but not quite on target. Little easy pick up for Slurpee Monster. No boost though, so uh, ended up landing on that ball. But we're going to see it straight in front of goal. Bango finishing that one off. Just some miscommunication coming out from team to girls there, I think. You know, Damo beat me in a one versus one on US East Ping, okay? He beat me in a 1v1 on US East Ping in a best of three. He beat me twice in a row. And I would not expect that kind of a mistake to come out from him. Because what we saw there is he was trying to carry it up the wall, keep it up there, you know, do the Spider-Man play. But it, he just ended up losing ball control. And Damo, he doesn't really lose ball control like that. He has the skills to keep that ball in his possession going up the wall and get the proper clear. So the, those, kind of, those kinds of things shouldn't be happening. And to girls, they shouldn't be down one. But just as I say that, we're going to see one coming in from the lulls to get that rebuttal. This is one of the messiest plays I've seen in this time, in this, uh, this competition so far as they get a little bit lucky there as the the goalie just flips the complete wrong way out of the... If he hadn't moved at all, he would have saved it, I think. So very unfortunate play coming out from WBS. And as you said, tied it up with 20 seconds left on the clock. And we're back to the anyone's game game. As uh, we're going to see the clearance coming out from the, the uh, WBS, I should say. Oh, in the corner. Five seconds remaining. Damo trying to get the ones play going, but Bango's going to be able to make the stop. Lamoney down off the wall. Damo looking to keep it alive for Lamoney. He's not going to be able to keep that ball up, and we're going to have overtime here with the score being 3-3. Three to three. And as we hit this overtime, Lamoney has an opportunity here. Goes a little bit wide, though. Very close. They're done. Oh, Lamoney's actually there, but... Oh, off the crossbar! The fourth man, able to make the stop twice. Oh, that was, that had my heart going. <laughs> oh, man. That was very close plays there. The girls, uh, you know, they've got skill, but Lady Luck was on their side just there. We're seeing this one nice and center. The money trying to get the redirect, but not able to do so. 40 seconds through overtime. Shot from the lulls. Going to be stopped by Bango. Now the money off the backboard. We could see the season one meta yet again, but the Lulz is just going to pop this one up for Walcott to send this one downfield. Is the money there in time? Yes, he is, and he's able to get the proper angle for the Lulz to pick this one up. D50 is going to send it off the wall. Damo gets a small touch, but he's not going to be able to send this one on too far. He's able to make it difficult for Bango, though. But eventually it's going to get passed out to Slurpee Monster to send this one down the back wall. Shot coming in from Bango, but it's going to be just wide. Walcott looking for one as well, but it's going to get stopped and put off into the corner here. I mean, 3-3, three to three, and we're still seeing quite the back and forth play here coming in from both these teams. The money! But it's going to get stopped by Walcott here, Scar. Oh, no! And there it is! Honestly, I wanted uh, Lamoney to score that one. It was a really nice pickup. Almost took out the defense. Wasn't able to do so. It comes back out for Lamoney. And Slurpee Monster just missing out on the save there. Really unlucky stuff. And uh, De Girls with the comeback. Losing the first match 5-1. to one, Winning the second match. And finally in overtime, 4-3 to three in this third match. Going through to the grand finals. Well done, lads. I, uh, I read earlier in chat that uh, Bango once said to one of his protégés that if you've got boost, then you can score. <laughs> Didn't work out for him this round, unfortunately. It looked like that was what the girls were able to do. And uh, yeah, 
that's that's our semi-finals done, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be moving on to the grand final soon. Any thoughts on that, uh, that Matt? I know you didn't see all of it, but uh, from what you did see, Edgy Murphy, what do you think? I mean, the girls, they, they made a bit of a resurgence there after that last game I just saw. I caught the end of it there. Uh, WBS, I mean, they, they went up 5-1. to one. And the girls, they just they just started ramping up the pace from what I can tell here, looking at game chat and uh, and just watching them play out on the field. I mean, well, as soon as they ramped up that pace and they just trusted in each other to to be able to get the team chemistry going, they, they easily overtook WBS in those last two games. I mean, yeah, they were really close games because WBS, they, they definitely had a game plan going for themselves as well, especially having a, a coach on their team. But it just, just ended up overwhelming them, I guess, and, uh, you know, Get, it ended up getting them the victory. So that's really all that matters at the end of the day is whether they won the series or not. And they're going to find their way into the grand finals, like you had just said earlier. Exactly. So now we uh, we have a little bit of time between the semifinals and the grand finals. So make sure you head on over to that Macharino page because that'll be uh, finishing up soon. We may not have as much time as I thought, but uh, get that contribution code in. And uh, we will be back for the grand finals very soon. Ladies and gentlemen, do not go anywhere. This is Scar and Edgy Murphy. We'll talk to you soon. Matcherino gives you the power to directly support your favorite tournaments and gaming scenes. Head over to this tournament's Matcherino page, sign in with your Twitch account, and if there's a coupon code, donate a dollar for free by entering it. To help the prize pool grow even more, you can add a personal donation that will go directly to the players. You can also check out the rewards. If you see something you like, you can buy it and support the event. Rewards can be purchased through PayPal or with points that you accumulate by watching the stream. Best of all, contributions edge closer to the stretch goals, providing extra content for fans if the goal is reached. Esports communities are growing with your help. Get more of what you like by supporting now.
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Vapor Esports, brought to you by Edgy Murphy and Scar Oss. Today we're going to be going into the best of five grand finals. I believe the teams are going to be Team Tahit and the Girls. My boy Scar Oss, how are you doing today, and how are you going to be anticipating this best of five? I'm pretty damn good, Edgy Murphy. Um, the teams... Get your I, ASMR I just, face on. I just need to uh, inform you. are actually Maelstrom and the girls. Oh, my God. I saw somebody <laughs> with some heat in their name, dude. Yeah, yeah. Tahit? Yeah. Oh, There's one dude Tahit, from Tahit. Tahit. I, listen, yeah. It's 628 in the morning here. I'm just Look, trying, no, to, I'm dude, just trying you, to put you're on doing some what you can. rocket league for you. You're doing what you can, and, I, and we all appreciate it, but it is the grand final, ladies and gentlemen. Five... Rounds, Maelstrom, the girls. Who's your choice? Who do you reckon is going to win this one? Edgy. I mean, uh, if I if I look at my uh, stuff real quick, mm -hmm. you know what? Zero idea. Both oh, these teams, okay. they they're looking they're looking relatively even. Maelstrom, they might have a little bit of an edge. I mean, they do got they got Fiki on their team. They got Scarth. They've got Lucky Luke. I like Lucky Luke. He's pretty. He's pretty good. He's pretty good. So I mean, it, it's it's a little bit tough. It's a little bit tough to call. I, I wouldn't be surprised if we see a, ga a game five here. I mean, then again, this is the grand finals where the top two teams are going to be going up head to head. Well, uh, even though you know, I love I love the girls. They've even got my name in one of their uh, usernames, which I appreciate. Um, but Maelstrom has really been absolutely killing it through this tournament. They smashed in their semifinals, 2-0, uh, with a pretty convincing lead. Um, the girls really got through by the skin of their teeth in that last one. So I feel like Maelstrom may take it away. I would love to see the girls win, though. So I I'm conflicted, <laughs> that's for sure. As we uh, head into our first round, here we go. We're going to find out exactly who is going to be the top dog going into the early parts of this best of five. So far, Lemony, Lemony, I don't even know how to pronounce that name, but I like Lemony more. I believe it's Lemony regardless. He tried going for something, but it's like after that play, it's going to be going back down to the girls end of the field here. Scar's looking to put this one off into the corner. Lucky Luke back over to Fiki. The team chemistry coming through off the backboard. But nothing's really going to come of it. It's going to have to be a bit of a rebuttal here. Lucky Luke's shot does get blocked out. Scarth, though, maintaining this control here for Maelstrom. Lucky Luke off the ceiling. Demo, good stuff coming in from him to make the stop. Fiki with the shot. Going to get stopped by the lulls, though. Nice shot coming in from Scarth, but it's going to be just off the crossbar. And we could see this one getting cleared out here, but no. The offensive pressure coming in from Maelstrom right now is just too much. Yeah, very close plays. It was very close to going into girl's goal, but they managed to just keep it out. Not by much, though, as we see almost a shot, and there is one! The money with the shot. 
but backed up by the lulls. Well done. Very well done. I mean, Lucky Luke, he had to go for that stop because he was the only one in position to make it happen. And because of that, he wasn't able to get any momentum to reposition himself and make the stop onto the next shot. That is the kind of stuff that we need to be seeing from the girls if they want to make anything happen. Because, I mean, it, it seems like the, what the gameplay coming in from uh, Maelstrom is, is they just try and tire out the defense of their opposing teams. And with a lot of teams, that's going to end up uh, shutting them down. I mean, they eventually end up, end up getting boost starved. They get caught out of rotation. Then something ends up finally going in for Maelstrom. But it's just not working against the girls because the girls are able to match that momentum, eventually get that ball out, and then make something happen quickly on the offense. Nice little pass from one player from Maelstrom to the other. Well done there to get the clear. It was a bit of an awkward angle as they had to come off the wall, but we are seeing it now heading back down towards the Maelstrom end of the field. Lemony going for the pass. Not able to make a connection he was after, though. Ooh, the demo. Yes! Demo demo. Demo! <laughs> That's what I like to see. I, I've been looking for that for, like, the last four games. Mm-hmm. Oh man. Oh! The play could have happened, but Fiki was there with the stop. Lucky Luke taking it downfield. It's going to get intercepted by the Lulz. It is going to be a very small clear to put this one back down into Maelstrom's end of the field. Off the corner from the Lulz. Fiki with the stop, though, is going to get this one set up for Lucky Luke. Lucky Luke now sets it up for Fiki. The 50 50 is going to end up with the ball. Back wall. Damo's going to make the stop, though. Now towards center. Lucky Luke ends up getting 50 50 would Lemony. To the sidewall, to himself, over to the lulls. But the redirect's not going to put this one on target. It is going to set it up for Demo, but he's going to get saved out by Scarth. And eventually the ball is going to make its way downfield from Fiki. And uh, as you said, like Maelstrom seems to just get down the end of the girls' field a lot of the time, putting the ball just on net over and over. And right there, the girls tried to do that but it seemed like one player touched it and then was out of position. Then the next player touched it was out of position. The third player touched it out of position. All out of position down the other end of the field. And that was just an easy, long pass for Maelstrom to get it in the goal. As uh, another goal's put in here. Hot damn. Oh my lord. That is some great stuff right there. Off the corner. I mean, the whole reason why that went in was because of that defensive error, let's be real. But regardless... That was some great team chemistry coming in from the girls. That is what makes them a great team. I mean, they, they play in this kind of weird way where they, they ball chase a little bit, but they play so fast that a lot of times their opposing teams can't really keep up with them. But I mean, they can keep up with each other. That's all that really matters here. Looks like they're not going to be able to keep up with that ball, though. I believe Damo was just caught out there. Yeah, Damo being demoed. I think that's against the rules, but uh, it happened oh. anyway. <laughs> Yeah, that's and, de that's uh, definitely going to put him out of position. Yeah, so he's going to be back in that corner, not able to get back in time to the goal. I think he was able to pick up boost, but it wasn't enough to get his car in front of goal. And you know, again, these goals coming out from Maelstrom seem to just be smashes down the field with nobody in play. And what a save coming out from Scarth! He's been doing an absolutely amazing job of saves in uh, not only this series but the previous one we watched him in. Oh man, he had the read on his opponent, and that is what saved him out on that one. Because, I mean, if he was just looking at the ball, that would have definitely gone in. He would have never seen his opponent behind that going for that shot. Oh my god, the pinch! Hello. Never mind that last <laughs> point. I don't I don't think I've seen a pinch that violent since uh, Cucks here off the wall with that Batmobile and RLCS. Oh my lord. There's the shot from Lucky Luke, though. No one's going to be home for it. Scarth! I think that last touch from Scarth was just enough to keep it out of reach. And it's time for me to say it again and again. It seems that the girls are just all pushed up and each time they get too far up, they're easily taken advantage of by Maelstrom and they can just get a bit of a runaway goal there as yet again, nobody from team to girls able to get back in time. They're going to need to do something about that if they want to take out this series and the grand finals. Yeah, I mean, Maelstrom, they're they're really looking into what they what has been working rather than just being like, all right, that last play worked, that's great, let's just keep doing what uh what we think we've been doing. But instead, they're recognizing what what worked on that play, and now they're recognizing that once they get that huge clear down and they're able to get that counterattack, all they have to do is just make sure it goes into the back of the net because all three of these players for the grills uh, for the grills the girls 
I mean, we've talked about it before. They just they just play super aggressive, super fast, try to keep up with each other. But as soon as they get caught out like that, it's all over. 15 seconds remaining now. Maelstrom up by one. Looking to take down game number one in this best of five here in the grand finals. But we could see the game get tied up with 10 seconds remaining. Lamani sending it down, but it's going to get stopped by Lucky Luke here. Destructive Demo. He's the last one back. He's not able to make it happen. And it looks like this could be the deal sealer, but it's going to be just off the post into the ground eventually though so that was a great play for maelstrom at the end there to kind of put it in that position where you know the ball's not able to get sent all the way back downfield rather it you know I, I i should take that back i should take that back that very well could have gone badly but the thing is is that they kind of lucked out with that clear because if that clear was any bigger that could have definitely been a shot on net coming in from the girls yeah, just not enough power to get the height on it to, as you say, get a good enough clear to bring us back to three to three. But, you know, in the end, three to two in this first match of our best of five and uh, a lot more even than I thought it would be. As I said earlier, you know, Maelstrom's been doing such a good job at dominating through these the first few rounds. And you know, it was interesting to see the girls keeping it to the scoreline that they did. And uh, it's very promising that we could have... You know, almost you know, all five games, in fact, could happen as Edgy Murphy joins uh, the girls. <laughs>Alrighty, so we're going to be going into this second match here of our best of five grand final as we see oh. a goal in the back of the net, ladies and gentlemen, five seconds down on the clock. Oh, look at that setup from the lows. Boom, right over Scar. That I mean, those are those are the kind of things that you don't really think about. That's just straight up reactions coming in from the lows right there. Fantastic stuff off the kickoff. And I have to explain, I, I joined games so that I can ask the boys. We were talking in game chat there, and they, they wanted to actually go to a certain map. I'll leave that to be a surprise for the viewers. And I was just making sure that they wanted to do game two here, because we're going to get that map all set or game number three, which we're definitely going to have considering this is a best of five. Oh, off the wall coming in from the money, but it's going to get stopped out by Lucky Luke. Lucky Luke, I wanted to see that shot. Come on, yeah. man. <laughs> That's all, you know, as casters, we, we have uh, hopes and dreams of seeing, you know, some of the best shots. And uh, it doesn't always work out for, for us, unfortunately. But it's not our game, it's theirs. And uh, we're going to see this one. Sent all the way back down. Can we get it over the top? He gets it oh. underneath! No! Oh, oh. No. We all oh, thought no. over the top and he went under. Hot damn. Oh, he gave it just that look. He wanted the flick. Lucky Luke wanted that flick, but... I mean, I swear, if that was calculated, that's quite the play right there. Oh, man, that's just unfortunate. We're going to find ourselves one-to-one -one here, though. Not even a minute through this game. This double fake coming in from Damo, but it's not going to be enough, Scar. Like, like I said earlier, as cast as the certain things we want to see, and I wanted to see a third fake into a goal, but not going to happen now. As uh, this is going to be set up in midfield, Scarf going back across to his teammate, Fiki, not able to get there in time, though. Oh, no, off the crossbar again. Oh my god, we're getting teased so much here in the caster's booth here on the Friday night 2v2. Legends, stop coming in from Lemony. The Lulz bringing it down in the corner. 2v2 Scarf. Legends with a third player on the field, loving it. Wait, oh my god. Oh, what am I doing? You know That's what? It's alright, 6am, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. We see a shot on goal! There you go, wake up to that one. The money is uh, the second goal for his team, Edgy Murphy. Thoughts? Yeah, his his threes <laughs> team. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. So uh, you can do it. So uh, we're seeing three shots out from the girls with two goals. With four shots coming from Maelstrom, but only one for their efforts. And uh, we're looking at one to two with three minutes left on the clock in this second match. The girls in the lead by one. Ooh, that was a nice stop coming in from Fiki, just getting himself up in the way of that one. But we're still going to see the offensive pressure coming in from the girls right now. Down below the three minute mark as Lemony, Lemony rather, puts this one down into the corner. But from the corner, we're going to find ourselves at midfield. This ball's relatively stagnant, eventually. Some physics are going to be applied by Scarth. 
down at midfield here. Passed from Lemony down to Damo in the blue team's corner here. Stopped by Scarf. And lucky Luke's going to be able to pick this one up. Lemony, he just got launched into the no. sky, and that's going to leave this net open yeah. for Lucky Luke. So that was just a little bit of miscommunication. Poor timing here as uh, Lemony went up for it when he really should not have, as his defending player was able to get to it. But, uh,. <laughs> well, money in chat. I forgot the second rule. My bad. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he knows man. he did wrong, but you know it's going to bring him back to two to two, and uh, he's going to have to make up for it, and might Ooh. do it right here. Oh no! No, that was so close. I'm yawning because it's so early in the morning, but I'm trying to get my words out regardless. As this one goes into the corner from that 50-50, Scarth now taking it down the wing. It's still going to find its way in the blue half of the field. Now the orange off the back wall here for Fiki. Makes the shot, but a nice stop coming in from the lulls. Great read from him. Down below two minutes remaining. Very close game number two, as it was a very close game number one as well. Lemony taking this one from the corner. Gets the setup off the ceiling. Demo. Oh, the stop coming in from Fiki. Oh, my Lord. It just keeps going in front of the net. And uh, just break this down for me, Scar. Please, there's so, so much action. A little bit of a reverse from last time round where we saw a lot of time spent in front of the girl's net. It now seems to be in the way of Maelstrom as you know they're having to defend pretty hard against this attacking force. Even the players themselves from the girls were saying that you know they're just ball chasing to victory and it seems like it's working out for them as it Ooh. works out for them right now. The lulls, an absolute banger and an unfortunate own goal coming out from Maelstrom. All right, I got to see this. No, that was going in the post. I swear that was yeah. going in the post. Yep, it was an own goal. I, mean, I, I, I don't I don't know if that ball was just going to bounce off the post and be in or not, but... I think I, at the I mean, time like, I was spectating the defender there and it looked like he would, he hit it 100% in. <laughs> it was, oh, it was, man. It was not, uh, not going in of its own accord. As uh, we're up to two to three now. Oh, I was going to say it might be three to three, but it's not the case. Oh, the flick downfield. Lemony, look to put it in. Yes, the backflip. The backflip was the key Winston to style. that play. Yes. Look, this is what we want to see. Backwards, backflip, boom. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> devastating those last two defenders. Hot. Damn, that's good. <laughs> oh, man. Slow clap. <laughs> oh, man. The girls, all of a sudden, it was two to two not too long ago, and all of a sudden, we now see it four to two. Like, what? What is this? This is this is like. I, I have no words. <laughs> you know. Well, it, uh, you know, we got thirty seconds left on the clock, and it looks pretty close here. You know, to uh, to to being done and dusted. I don't. I don't know if there's going to be much of a comeback at all. Oh no, the oh. lulls! The lulls with his third goal of the match, Edgy Murphy. Oh man, that placement. That, that's all I gotta say about that. The lulls is on fire right now. Like, if he was playing Overwatch, dude, you know. Yeah, flames. You know. Just pure. It'd be, as the kids say, lit. As we might see another one! Damo! What? Oh, damn it, Damo! Yes! <laughs> That's what I want to see! Oh Ugh. my! Those redirects are some of the hardest ones to get in the game when you're just that close to the wall, that close to the goal. <laughs> There's been some talk in chat in uh, Twitch, and I didn't want to say anything about it, but people saying that Damo can't do the work. Eat your words, sirs! Damo put that one in for the sixth goal! Two to six, it's probably going to finish up as we might get a seventh. No, we don't. Edgy Murphy, what was oh, that? Man. <laughs> oh, man, dude. The girls. Just how? It, it, it was like the last minute of the game or something, right? And they just get like four goals out of nowhere. Yeah. They, right they doubled line, the amount of goals scored in the first four minutes of the game in the last minute of the game that's it, it it's friday it's night and it's live this stuff happens just, it's madness it's i mean madness. Like, 
<laughs> I mean, y- you think you only need a certain amount of nails before you're like, yeah, this coffin's sealed. These these guys just went to town with a nail gun and we're going like, <laughs> like every quarter inch putting a nail in. Oh my god. Oh my god. All right. Well, uh, that I brings us one to one. <laughs> it sounds like it. That's uh, right, we're going to, to a commercial in break series. in the middle of this grand final. <laughs> yeah, I think so. We're gonna. Well, what is it in the Super Bowl? They have uh, they have the halftime show. I think we need. Yeah, 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 like yeah. That. Just just so the commentators can go get a drink or something. We need to need to relax as uh, we go into our third match here. The boys from the girls have changed their names to Ball Chaser 1, 2, and 3, which is going to make casting what they're doing a little bit more difficult, but uh, it's all for the fun of it, apparently. So we're going to see Ball Chaser 3 <laughs> at the clear. And almost a goal! Oh, man. Oh, Ball Chaser 3. He's going to chase this ball. No, not quite. <laughs> ball Chaser 1's going to start chasing it now. Looks like they're going to have to take some turns on who's doing what. I believe they should change their name from the grills or the girls to the dogs, considering the amount of ball chasing that they're doing right now. Just Please laugh right at that joke. Come on, Scott. that was pretty good. It... <laughs> no, look, I loved it. I absolutely loved it, but I needed to cast that moment. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, I'm so into it. But yes, these absolute um... dogs <laughs> playing fetch right now. Oh, they're about to fetch this one into the net! Yeah, Ball chaser dude. number one with goal number one of the game! The stick was put high enough, and they <laughs> went for it. Ball chaser number one. He's gonna get some good kibble tonight. Oh, yeah. He's not even getting kibble. He's getting a full T-bone steak. With uh, a medium rare. seconds down on the clock. One goal in the way of the dogs. Which we were going to rename them, apparently. This one looks to go in, but no. Lucky Luke going to be picking it up and putting it straight into one of the ball chasers. Going to go high here. Right in the center as ball chaser 2 puts it to ball chaser 3. <laughs> that may have been a 1-2-3 ball chaser moment. Oh, no. He just leaves the match after. <laughs> Is he going to come back? I don't know what happened there, actually. Oh, Ball Chaser 2 is back to join Ball Chaser 1. Looks like we're continuing on here, 3 to 2. And uh, with the name change, they are back, but it is 1 to 2 now. With one less player on the field by accident, the money is, uh, is rough. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know what's going on cat. anymore. Oh, damn. <laughs> All right. I think he changed uh, the cat ears. <laughs> Oh, I man. think he left the game so he could change to cat ears to run with our joke, but we do see two to two now. Goodness gracious. I, I can't turn off director camera. This is dumb. But anyway, I, I'm trying to look at uh, uh, Lemony's car here to see those ears you're speaking about. But... Yeah, I can't oh, well, we're, we're, we're yeah. just going to keep going here. We're just going to yeah. keep going here. As he gets uh, close to the ball, I do think he's got little caddy or something. Oh, the setup. Fiki looking for the shot, but no, it's going to be the wrong angle. Scarth tries to make the stop, but it is just not happening right now. That's going to be off the back wall. Lemony able to make the stop. Scarth, though, he's going to be putting in a little bit of work. Lucky Luke pass over to Fiki, but the stop's going to be there from ball chaser number two, who apparently is Damo in disguise. He's going to be able to put that one in underneath the crossbar as well. Damo! <laughs> that was such a nice shot. Oh, he that. just gets the touch. So very close to hitting that top crossbar. And absolutely buggering up his shot, but he gets it in the back of the net. Well done, Ball Chaser 2. The setup to Ball Chaser number 2, aka Demo. Oh no, the team play! Look at the team play! Oh my lord. Edgy Murphy, what, what happened? What happened to this game? It was a close match between Maelstrom and the girls. The girls have had enough time in this match to change their names, leave the match, change their names again, come back, and still be winning 2-4. to four. What is this? What is going on? This is memes, dude. Oh my goodness. Like, 
Like, there, there is so much stuff going on that is entirely unprofessional. You would think that this is, like, <laughs> slash B or something. Yeah. I mean, not quite that level, but you know what I mean. Just, like, some, some message board where all sorts of crazy things happen. And uh, just <sighs> metaphors. And this, and this Friday Night Live is all up in that subreddit as uh, two and a half minutes left on the clock, two to four. Doesn't look like we're going to be slowing down anytime soon as uh, the ball chasers put on a lot, a lot of pressure trying to get some aerial passing plays happening. Doesn't quite work out for them though. You know, I didn't think that dogs could fly, but the dogs right now, aka the girls, they are certainly flying right now after this ball, doing some ball chasing. Ball chaser number one, aka the lulls, is going to set this one up for ball chaser number two, aka Demo. It's ultimately going to end up in their corner. Lemony. Puts it down, ball chaser one, with the touch, but Fiki's gonna be there. Able to get it set up, looking for the redirect is Lucky Luke off that back wall, but he's not quite able to make it happen. Now Scarth is trying to put this one in, but it's gonna be way off and into the corner. Ball chaser number one trying to bring it downfield, but it's gonna be Fiki over to Lucky Luke. Gets it on target, but it's gonna get stopped by Lemony. Minute 40 remaining, 100 seconds. What's gonna happen? It looks like Scarth is gonna be able to get one in. 97 seconds now remaining. So that was really a goal based off a double commit uh, from a little bit earlier on where one of the players from the girls really had a good chance at a clear, but with the underside of their car was hit during uh, their flip, I think, uh, by one of the other players on the girls and just kind of messed them up completely. And you know, we're bringing it back three to two with a minute 30 left on the clock. It, it's still anyone's game. I know there's been a lot of mucking around during this match, but... Uh, you know, Maelstrom is still an absolutely strong team, or strong team, I should say, as uh, Ooh. as we've seen in the past. And you know, I wouldn't ex I wouldn't be surprised if a comeback can happen here. I mean, as we get down to the last minute, we're gonna see Lamoney get one in here. I was about to say, as we get down to the last minute, it's only one goal separating these guys, but now it's two all of a sudden. Yet again, five to three, the score. I mean, I haven't casted in a while, and this is the match that I come back to. Yeah, welcome. Welcome back to casting. Not only do you cast this match, you cast with me, so it's absolute unprofessionalism the entire way through. <laughs> so we see this one going all the way down to Maelstrom's end, and it's going to stay there because the girls just dominating right now in regards to ball possession and ball placements. Because, uh, you know, everyone knows that uh, dogs are ball experts. We see this one oh. going right across the front of goal here. Might be a good shot. It is a good shot, but a nice pickup by the girls to get the clearance. Oh, ball chaser won the lulls with the 50-50. Never mind, that's not even a 50-50. He went to the Fireburner University of 90 tons, 100%. He graduated with a full PhD and everything. High honors, straight A's across the board. That Look was like that. a good makeout. You go 90%, she comes 10, and you have a goal <laughs> on your hands. Oh my god, don't get me started. We'll, we'll, we'll save that for another stream. Double touch clear from Ball Chaser 1. Well done, Lulz, to get that one, but his teammate messed it up a little bit for him as he was he put it back into the center. We might see another goal out of a touch and run, but no, Ball Chaser 2 cut off there. Double the score, 3 to 6. Zero seconds left on the clock. Ladies and gentlemen, the girls up 2 1 in this best of five. Grand final, Edgy Murphy 3v3 tournament we got going on tonight. That's a good meme, but it looks like, it appears you might be uh, uh, drinking and casting tonight. No idea what you're talking about. I, I heard that <laughs> bottle cap. I'm going to have to ask you to take a breathalyzer. I, otherwise, uh, you're, otherwise, we're going to have to automatically suspend your uh, casting license for five months should you refuse. Unfortunately, sir, if I uh, if I don't have a blood alcohol reading um, above the standard drink driving laws, uh, I am not able to cast, and I'm very boring. So, uh, gonna have to keep drinking and keep <laughs> going with this series. <laughs> oh <laughs> my <laughs> god! Yeah, that, that's great advice for the kids at home. No, yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't oh. drink and cast, guys. Don't drink and cast. 
Oh man, some weird These stuff happens right now. <laughs> Remember, guys, drink responsibly. Oh, 100 <laughs> percent. Oh man. Hey, we have the standard names coming back to Team to Girls, and I like that the standard names for Demo is actually Demolition Demo hashtag for Scar. I do appreciate that. I feel loved as a caster as we see all a goal scoring opportunity there. Lucky Luke just missing out on that one. Take it away, Edgy Murphy. What's going on here? Oh, looks like we could see a shot coming in from Lucky Luke, but it's going to be just off the goalpost. The Lowell's now taking this one downfield, sends it up high, but it's going to get stopped by Fiki here. He was already in the prime position to make that happen. Lucky Luke now coming in, looking to get this one from the corner. All centered up, but it's going to be Lemony taking it down the wing. Off the wall, though. Nice and centered. The Lulz is looking to get a touch here, but the 50-50 is going to send it up toward the uh, blue goal there. Off the ceiling. Lucky Luke. Over to Scarth. Back wall. Could see a shot coming in, but both players, one from each team, are going to miss that one. As we get down to 4-10 on the clock here. I'm surprised we haven't seen a goal yet. Well, there were a few opportunities there, but everyone just kind of playing off of each other. Playing a bit far back it seems uh not really committing as much as they probably should uh but as you as you said no goals just yet and i think that might be why as we see one go nice and center for damo might be able to get a teammate to it and it's uh not the best 50 50 coming out of lemony there oh center it's gonna get sent away by fiki Lucky Luke not able to get a touch onto that, so Demolition Demo, hashtag 4 Scar, is going to be able to put this one down in the blue corner. Doesn't last long, though. Fiki now. Oh, looking for the next touch! It's going to end up over in the orange corner now. Time still nice. ticking down one second at a time. And I'm still surprised. No goals! Well, every match seems completely different from the last in this series. We're seeing some... Uh absolute flogs some really close matches and some nil alls all the way through to three minutes left on the clock but uh i do expect one of these two teams to finally make the breakthrough sometime soon uh, but it's not going to be right now as we get the clearance from scarf down below three minutes remaining fiki chasing this one downfield but it's going to get stopped by lemony demo with the 50 50. Gets it all set up for Lemony. He makes the shot, but it's going to be off the backboard. Demo looking for the redirect, but it's going to put this one stagnant in front of the net. The Lowe's look for a shot, but it's going to get blocked out. And as we approach halftime, Fiki sends this one on to Lucky Luke. The redirect! But it's going to get stopped by the Lulls. I mean, it, the defense on both these teams. Can somebody just make a mistake? I really want to see a goal. <laughs> well, we did mention before, and I know I have a feeling they're listening, uh, but... Uh... The girls weren't the best in defense in their first round, and they've really tightened up through these rounds as they progressed through. And uh, I think that that's worked out in their favor. The ball chasing aspect has worked well for them, but without that strong defense to back up it, uh, back it up, uh, it, it wasn't working out. And they've, they've made the changes, and you know, we're seeing uh, this two-one lead for uh, the series at least but zero all we might see a zero one here no so close coming out from scarf Unlucky we are there. seeing we are seeing all the mistakes on offense none of the mistakes on defense that is just what defines this game right now i mean i, I guess that's why the saying the best offense is a good defense is working out here kind of 100 percent. yeah no you you got it because you know, these teams as you said making some nice plays getting the ball where it needs to be and then just that last moment that last hit isn't getting into the position thereafter as uh, lemony is going to put this one wide but should be picked up pretty easily by the uh if defensive player center in front of the orange net lemony is eventually going to be able to get this one out communication coming in demo over to the lulls off that 50 50. But Fiki's going to be able to put this one the other way. Scarth already up with the pre-jump. Lucky Luke looking for the stop, but it's not going to happen. Down below one minute remaining. And we're going to be in Maelstrom's end of the field. Fiki gets this one over Damo, but the lulls is there. Damo was doing his job. Keeping that player out of it. But it's going to be Scarth looking for a shot. Off into the corner, though. 30 seconds now remaining. And I don't even know if we're going to see this goal come in from Maelstrom. Nope. 
There's some very good rotation there because it was a really late jump by one of the defensive players from the girls. Uh, so it was good that the rotation was in there that somebody got back in time because it was, as you said, kind of an open net, but um, they did get back in time. And we're going to keep it to 0-0 with nine seconds left on the clock. I mean, Maybe. all right. Not the best touch there. Could still see something happen. No, it's down. All right, I'll I'll bet you uh, I'll bet you one of my cheap Rocket League items that this ends in less than ten seconds. Kickoff goal incoming as the Lulz right, puts this no one worries. off the wall. Second touch. Oh, the next touch. Is he gonna be able to get this one off the corner? He at least gets the setup, but no one's gonna be able to seconds. beat there. <laughs> Gosh darn it! <laughs> Yay! Right, I'll, cheap Rocket League. I'll give, you, I'll give you a rare that I got out of a crate. <laughs> nice. Was it a uh, Halloween crate? Uh no. I'll I'll take a rare Halloween item. <laughs> okay. Actually no, I like I like my entire Halloween collection even though I'm Damn. not gonna use those items. Well, looks like Scar's not getting the goods, but can Lulz get the goods? No, he cannot as it goes just high. So close. In before half an hour overtime. <laughs> no, too late. It's gonna be Maelstrom keeping their dreams alive here. What? Just damn. This series. I, I don't know what's happening anymore. <laughs> you know, a lot of the time we see one team just dominating the other, and even if the scoreline doesn't show it, the, the general plays do. But this series has just been so back and forth, and you know, the, this, the scoreline has been so different in every match, and it's just really interesting to see. Fiki finally coming through with that one goal to bring Maelstrom back to the 2-2 two -two matchup that we've got here, going through to a final match, the fifth and final in this grand final Vapor Esports Friday Night Live. Ain't you, Murphy? This is nuts. I mean, you only get the finest memes, the finest Rocket League, the finest casting from Vapor Esports in the OCE region. We get we get some multiculturalism as well, you know. We got the NA crowd here. We got Scar representing the OCE. We had a uh, we had one of the teams from Asia come all the way through to I think the quarterfinals, winning all of their best of ones as well. So, you know, as yeah, you said, a very been... multicultural uh, community we got going on here. Yeah, we've been having a lot of a lot more uh, Asian teams coming through. Like you know, uh, India. We've had guys from Singapore. We've had guys even from Japan as well. Japan's been doing really well. Um, I did a cast for uh, Asia Rocket League not too long ago, and that was actually some pretty fantastic Rocket League. And speaking of fantastic Rocket League, we could see some fantastic offense coming in from Maelstrom, but it's going to be the defense of the girls keeping this ball out of their own net. The Lulz sending this one downfield, but Fiki's going to return it over to Lucky Luke with the redirect. But, Le but Dem Demo, rather. Great communication. Lemony really would have messed that one up, I believe, if he went for that touch. Yeah, I was going to say oh, the no. same thing... Uh, Lamani right there had the opportunity to touch it, but uh, got the call from his teammate. So well played by them. They are seeing this one heading down towards the girls, but they're able to get a small clear. See if it's going to be enough. Doesn't look like it will be. Four minutes remaining on the clock. Fiki setting this one up for Lucky Luke, but it's going to be just off the crossbar. Lemony now with the redirect is going to put this one to midfield. Scarth is going to try and keep this one out of the clutches of the Lulz. He's successful in his efforts. But Lemony, oh my god, just keeps juking the ball out of the way of two out of three of those Maelstrom players. Oh yeah, my it might have not have been going in the right direction, but it sure was confusing them. 100% <laughs> facts right there, fam, as the kids say. <laughs> of the lulls. Over to Demo. But Lucky Luke's going to pop this one up. A little bit of a dangerous ball here. The lulls over to Lemony. It's going to be off the sidewall over to Lucky Luke. We're seeing a lot of back and forth plays. We're seeing a lot of counter clears as well, which really keep the scoreline like 0-0. I mean, both these both these teams, they've really gotten into the groove of reading ahead at least like two moves, almost like it's chess. I, I believe chess grandmasters, they look ahead something like five moves, but it looks like this time it was Maelstrom that was five moves ahead. All right, and just the placement here, you see two of the... The girls going for it there. Not the best communication. It's kind of hard when it's it's coming at you that fast and you both think, oh, I'm going to go for it. And, you know, sometimes you both call it and then it takes a little while to decide who's actually going to go for that ball. 
and it just didn't work out in their favor as uh, we see one right in front of the net no i think it was fiki with the save i'm not quite sure but actually i think it was scarf never mind nice save there by scarf ball right in the corner well i mean somebody did something and it was a good thing so that's all that matters <laughs> for maelstrom right now i mean everything you said was true <laughs> i mean these games good lord and we're about to see even more action as the lulz sets this one up for demo setting it up for the lulz the back to back to back it's not gonna happen here we're down to the second half of the game and it's really still anybody's game right now i mean it, it's been so back and forth i mean despite maelstrom being the only ones to score a goal here and the game's really tightening up becoming low scoring games it's just it's just that anybody can really do anything in this game all, all six of these guys just fantastic rocket league <laughs> you say uh, as all of that happens well timed <laughs> just i retire yeah. <laughs> that's the caster's curse right there these guys are great as they whiff about three times seeing this one go all the way down the other end but uh fiki's able to pick that one up and get a little bit of a clearance but not too much damo nice attempted shot there not enough to get it past the last defender but he got around two well played by him oh right demo with the shot that was a nice pass coming out of the money there very close to getting the goal but they did have two defenders in the way so it was a very tough attempted shot there so you see Lamani putting this one center oh sidewall scarth set, set that one up for lemony but fiki's in there able to make the stop off the corner over to the lulz not a lot of power onto that one though so it's going to be a relatively easy clear for scarth here he finds himself in a bad position he has his teammates to back him up though we're seeing a lot of time-wasting strategies coming in from Maelstrom, but the problem is, is that they just can't get it out of their own zone. As soon as I say that, though, it's going to be off the side wall here. Fiki now sending this one on. It looks like it's going to find its way in. And I think Lucky Luke wanted to get the goal steal there. <laughs> I think he did. He was very well placed for it, but uh, I don't think he had the boost or quite the jump he was after. I think he went for a double jump and... Then was like, ah, if I hit this and it doesn't go in, I'm going to get in a lot of trouble. So he backed out of it, uh, which was a good decision as it is 2-0 with 44 seconds left on the clock. The girls really have to do something here. They don't have a lot of time. There's uh, Lemony trying to get that long clear, but is blocked out by the attacking Maelstrom. Nice I mean, little redirect. Nice try, Scarf. Not enough. I mean, based on how this second half has been going, it looks like it's going to be all ogre for the for the grills, the girls. I keep saying the grills as well. Don't worry about it. Yeah. <laughs> it's I an mean, easy whatever. Mistake. Sick memes. <laughs> yeah, sick memes. We do see a third goal. Twenty-two seconds left on the clock in this final match of the best of five. Things are looking bad for the girls. I mean, absolute miracle has to come out here. Looks like it could be the start of the miracle. Oh my lord! Hot damn! It's, is this gonna happen? I'm not gonna say it. I, no, not gonna say it. That's not all I have is I'm just asking. I'm yep, just asking. That's it. That's all we can do because with 16 seconds left on the clock, two goals needed to be scored by the girls. This is a oh, edgy no. seat moment. It's all over. That face off just killed it. It's all over. I think it did. We're gonna see this one going mid, and yeah, if, if Damo had gotten that pass, maybe, but this is gonna be it, folks. Maelstrom, our winners of the Friday Night Live 3v3 tournament in the Best of Five Grand Final. What? What happened? What was all of that, Edgy Murphy? <laughs> that wasn't even Friday Night Live. That was Friday Night Meme. I think it was. It really was. I mean, I, but honestly, I don't know which cast was better. Now that I see that Biza RL is in the chat, let's get some love for him. I, I don't know which cast was better. The Vapor Nordic League finals that I did with Biza, or tonight that I've done with you, Scar. Just because this has been the memeiest cast <laughs> of my entire life, and it's yeah. been about like six games long. Well, you know, good things happen here at uh, Vapor Esports. Some really, really interesting, not just plays in-game, but some out-of-game shenanigans.
with name changes and uh, and whatnot. But oh, that's man. it. Maelstrom are our winners, and uh, well deserved. They they played very well uh, to to beat out the girls who I I thought came through as the underdogs to begin with, and ended up really shining through that. But wasn't enough to take out the win tonight. I mean, it was just great Rocket League across the board, even with all the memes that happened, you know, keeping it totally unprofessional the entire night. We just hope that it was entertaining for all of you viewers. It was certainly entertaining for me. I mean, uh, oh man, I had no idea what was going on. I mean, it's like 7-11 in the morning for me right now. I woke up at like 5.30 in the morning. Uh, just... I, well I just done don't for even... Think. <laughs> even putting sentences together i'm very impressed with your efforts but that's oh, it ladies you. and gentlemen i think we are done here for our friday night live tournament if you do want to join in next week make sure you hit up the vapor esports discord all the information's there and also uh check out their twitter and all that wonderful social media stuff and uh i'm just going to double check to see if we're raiding anyone i don't think anybody sent me anything through so you might let it go to the auto host I've been Scar Oz, joined very late by Edgy Murphy. And, uh, <laughs> we appreciate your being here. You have a wonderful evening, morning, or whatever time it is for you. Oh, thank you. We appreciate you too, Scar. You're coming along very nicely <laughs> as a caster, especially with dealing with all of these memes. Uh, be sure to hit us up on Twitter as well, uh, Vapor Esports, at Vapor Esports on Twitter. Uh, I'm Edgy Murphy RL, and I believe Scar, yours must be Scar Oz, right? Uh, my Twitter is Scar Australian, actually. I couldn't get Scar or some German. Yeah, some German bloke at it. <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah. All right. But uh, I was wrong, actually. We are going to be raiding It's Simply Nick, a very good friend and moderator for my own stream. So uh, if you could click that little joining raid button up the top there, new feature to Twitch. We can only have five raiders. We're going to head on over there and uh, we're going to show them some love. So um, jump in and uh, say hi to Nick for us. Yeah. Just, just spam a bunch of memes, like just, all yeah. of the memes. Just find all of your memes collectively and uh, input them into his chat. Like, like all those like uh, ASCII text memes and stuff. Just like do those copy pastas and stuff. You know, just, yeah. just, just make it absolute hell for his moderators. I just want to point out also, uh, silly space goat. Thank you for uh, resubbing to Vape Esports for two months in a row. Well done. What a lad. Don't oh, it's out. already uh, it's already <laughs> shifted over. Cool. <laughs>